Alrighty, for lunch today we are heading to another one of your recommendations. This is a restaurant called Mizu. I can't remember the name for now, but we're gonna. I know where it is. I Google mapped it. How bad do you think parking at Eastwood is gonna be? On a scale of one to ten, one being easy, breezy, beautiful, and ten being absolutely crazy. Probably stressing and depressing. So, would you say a seven? Okay. All right. We shall see. Parking is always so difficult at Eastwood, even though we have more car parks at the moment. It all of a sudden started randomly pouring. Um, there's essentially this strip of restaurants here in Eastwood that have that are slightly newer, I think. And the Japanese restaurant that comes recommended to us today is kind of at the end of this strip. It's great, I've been meaning to come here actually, so thank you so much for the recommendation. So we've just put our order through. We like scan the code. This is everything that we ordered. But I'll show you everything when it arrives. Comes to 120 bucks for the four of us. Each ordered like a main, and then we've got some sides, we've got a sushi roll. I'm very, very excited. I can't wait to try it. So, what we've ordered today in terms of appetizers, we've got edamame, we've got sashimi taco, which has just arrived, black garlic ramen, chashu ramen, a wagyu beef rice, pork katsu curry don, and also a spicy raw tuna roll. First thing that I am going to try is the sashimi taco. So this is like, it's got some kingfish, it's got some salmon, avo, tuna. Yum. This has like a, like a spicy mayo, but it's not too spicy at all. So my dad, let me try a little bit of his um, seaweed, garlic, butter, wagyu beef done. It's very buttery. It's got like a teriyaki sauce as well. I am super hungry, so everything tastes really delicious to me right now. Um, could you get that? Oh, yeah, have yeah, There's quite a bit of beef as well. Do you like the curry more or the. We also got a pork katsu curry. This is like a typical Japanese curry. There's like a sweetness to it. And I like the pork katsu. It has a relatively crunchy exterior, but I'm with my sister. I prefer the um, garlic butter beef don. Okay, so the last thing that we got is a black garlic shoyu ramen. It's got bamboo shoots, it's got some black fungus. The noodles are pretty good, the ramen is pretty good, and there's a very strong garlic flavour. Why is it called black garlic? Of all the things that I've had today, my favourite item is what my dad had, which is the garlic butter beef don. That one's delicious. So with the beef don, you get the option to add three dollars to get like a salad and a miso soup, which I reckon you should because the salad is like a good amount and my dad really liked the miso soup. We are thinking of making like a big pasta dish tonight and I thought it would be a good idea to take this opportunity to check out one of the biggest Harris farm that has recently opened. I've heard there's like a Messina, there is a, you can make your own donuts. It's in Lane Cove, which isn't too far of a drive from Eastwood. Are you excited, Dad? Yes. Yes. I want to try and avoid peak hour traffic. Peak hour traffic starts building up, I think around, what time do you reckon? 3.30. Like 3.30? 3 
like around four. So I reckon if we get in and out in less than an hour, um, we can, would be good to, to sort of like avoid traffic. I do want to explore as much of this Harris Farm as possible because there's so many things I actually want to check out and also do our grocery shopping as well. So there's quite a few things we need to do. And I think, you know, if we're efficient with our time, we can definitely do it in less than one hour. Tonight we're going to be making prawn pasta and essentially what we're going to need is tomatoes, prawns, pasta, parsley, lemon and some chili flakes and that's pretty much it. They have a station where you can pour your own honey and they also have a popcorn machine where popcorn is popped daily. There's something about grocery stores that gets me so excited. I think I've said this many a times. Every time I go to a new country, I'd love to go grocery shopping there. Even if I don't buy anything, I just want to see what's available. Oh, hey, this is this looks exactly like the cheese that you see in cartoons with like the holes and stuff. Ooh. Bacon, truffle salami. Messina and there's also donuts here as well. What ice cream flavor did you get? Passion fruit strawberry. Nice. Okay, welcome to Janice's kitchen. Firstly, what we're gonna do is we're gonna slice up some garlic and some tomatoes. It is currently five to seven. I said to my sister that I'll get this done in 15 minutes, so we shall see. We are cooking for five people tonight, so we have a massive pot. Just let it boil. And then we'll put in the pasta. Hi guys, I got the garlic bread from Harris Farm because I really want bread tonight. Try to unwrap the flat wrap. They really wrapped it really tightly. Are you trying to mock me or is that like your vlogging voice? Hi guys, it's my vlogging voice. Flowers for you. Hey Janice, remember that time we bought seeds to try and grow our own parsley? What happened to it? It, uh... Let's not talk about that. Okay, we made prawn pasta. And We've also got vegetable soup and some garlic bread. And that is it for this video. I very nearly forgot to end the vlog. Thank you so much for watching till the end. I post new videos Monday to Friday. Check them out if you have time. Subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, turn on your notification bell. And I see you in the next vlog very, very shortly. Bye. And then we have the garlic. I think we'll use the whole, all of the garlic. You think you don't already have garlic breath? <laughs>